So how does a fighter deal with a loss on, on, a, on a world stage? Millions of people watching them, it's a loss, it's, it's, some might say it's humiliating, it's, you know, it's embarrassing. How do you get up the next day for the sun to rise? And what I say is that that journey, that mindset of being able to turn that loss into a, into a learning um, exercise and getting back on the horse or whatever analogy that you prefer to use, that journey began 10 years ago when they walked in the gym. And I feel that's really my only role in the gym is that I need to create an environment that getting tapped out on the mat, getting caught with a shot, getting taken down, is almost seen as, as, a, as a positive, not as a negative. It's not sneered at, it's not laughed at, it's not, how did you let that person catch you? It's seen as like, well, that was interesting. So it's, it's learning from day one that the gym environment is a learning environment. We want to go in there and put ourselves in uncomfortable situations till we're comfortable. And when we learn early on to associate loss, failure, getting submitted, losing a round, when we associate that with actually improvement, something wonderful can start happening in the head. That we actually start chasing failure, if you want to say. That we, we, we know that we're gonna fail our way up towards success. We're not coming into a gym environment where we wanna win all the time and lose our way towards quitting. So I sometimes joke when I go and give talks at schools, I tell, my, uh, I tell the classroom, I say, I train the best losers in the world. Because I, I, <laughs> I, I train people on, on not being afraid of trying new things, not being afraid of putting themselves in vulnerable positions on the mat. And that environment that's been created is not an accident, and it's, it's, it's one I think is actually the hardest part of, of coaching. Actually teaching techniques is, is, is not that difficult. It's, it's creating an environment where 40 different personality types, 40 different styles, 40 different people can all work together in a way. It's, it's that mindset that 10 years later, they've come up through the learning stage, they come up through the amateur competing stage, and they went on to the pro competing stage. And they've learned that it's, you know, uh, failure is not fatal and success is not final. So whether they, they won or lost on that night, the next day the journey will continue and you gotta lick your wounds, you gotta eat some chocolate, you gotta stay in a dark room for a while and, and, and you know, you have your girlfriend rub your head and your coach give you a hug. Trust me, that, that doesn't go away. Like, let's, let's be honest here, losing always sucks. That's why it's such a rush to win because the, on the opposite side, you know, highest highs, lowest lows. But we don't want that to turn into a six-month thing. We don't want that to turn into a pointing fingers thing. We want to take accountability, we want to take responsibility for that. We want to analyze it as soon as possible and see where it can be improved on. And then we want to go back in there and go again. Yeah. And that person that will not lose their way down to quitting can only ever eventually end up with success.